I have a random, 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 random thing we can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> like, love is blind. Or is love blind? You would get a bad edit. I'm so I sorry. I would get such a bad edit. You would edit. get a bad edit because this is what they would do. They were to be like, speak louder. And you're like, huh? They would take that, <gasps> huh? In response to me being like, oh my God, yeah, she gave me a weird look. Cut to Remy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> They'd be like, damn. This is reality gold right here. The guy that won, are we into him? He just wasn't my type. So let's redo that one again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Alicia Marie. And I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. I love how sometimes we say it and sometimes we don't. I know. It's like sometimes we're professional. We need like a, a full intro and a full regular outro, mm -hmm. but not today. Hello, basic babes. How are you doing? How are you doing right now? I'm so curious. Are you commuting to work? Are you working out? Are you chilling at home? Are you rotting in bed? Are you going for a walk? Hawker walk? I have to give a shout out to your ex friend's sister on TikTok, AKA Mark. He made the cutest TikTok about us. He was at work, I think. Wait, I think I did he said not he was working. See this. Oh my God. He was like, hey, I'm listening to Pretty Basic. Like the girls who get it, get it. And he was like, I think he was at work or doing something on the weekend though. And he was like, hi girls, you're like, you're never gonna see this. And I was like, I love you. He's so cute. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Thank you for watching and listening. We appreciate you. I hope that you hear this. I am sad I haven't seen that. I have seen a ton of other you. people though. They'll like tag us in TikToks or things. And I literally, like it makes my day. I agree. I also have to say like, since we're not, huge tiktokers like we're obviously not alex or anything close i see every mention like every single mention oh no so and i'll reply to a lot of them we talked about this with kelsey kreppel i was like do i be the first person to like it that's right like yeah. do do we like is it weird to be the only view on this sometimes i'm like oh wait a little bit I'll come back that's what i do too if there's like zero likes i'll be like oh wait a little bit or if i'm really feeling it then i'll reply i'll be like I know. love you i'm just like hi it's so fun though to see and i, I like so strange but I was thinking about this as I drove here because I was thinking about Mark I know people listen to this podcast no we forget we know but for some reason whenever anybody comes up and tells us in person <laughs> they listen or Mark tags us in a TikTok or someone tags us like I feel badly for them I don't understand why they listen. And I forget that people actually listen. See, I don't feel bad for them. I feel bad when people are like, oh my God, I grew up watching it. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry your eyes burn from saturation. I think I'm just truly in shock that people will listen to us talk for an hour to an hour and a half every week. Like, that's not badly, like badly, but I'm just like, no, why? I was gonna say, why? Why? I feel like they're owed compensation for something. And I'm like, but why mm -hmm. like why it really perplexes me but in the best way and we're eternally grateful so thank you for listening but you know what those like the podcasts i personally love listening to are the t like the well, banter the banter it's like yeah. of nothing really nothing just random really i want i don't want anything to especially if i'm waking up in the morning listening to podcasts or working out like i don't want to have to think so hard i like just, I want to hear, I want to hear the latest gossip. I want to hear how people are doing, how people's dogs are, you know what I mean? I want to hear what goes on in the week and like and their mundane lives. Like yeah. what's going on? I feel the exact same way. I just listened to my favorite podcast ever is called The Bitch Bible. Oh, I talk about yeah. her all the time, Jackie Schimmel. And she most recently or very recently did an episode where she went to Trader Joe's. I, Wait, think I it love was. it. She was like trying to not name the grocery store because she didn't want, which everyone needs to listen to The Bitch Bible. Uh, she didn't want people to like know because she wanted, I think she said she can't go to the grocery store anyways now because she was talking about it on her platform. Oh my God. But she had a raffia beach bag or like a raffia bag, you know, like a straw tote yeah. similar, but like with holes. And she was like reaching to grab this lettuce that she was excited oh, no. about. And the man that worked there had a hook. And so her, <gasps> his hook got hooked onto her bag. And she was just standing there like trying not to like laugh. Say and like that was her story when I like played it for Cal. Like the really good episodes I'll play for Cal. But like that is the shit that I want to hear. The yeah. most random stuff that happens to you. We actually have a really good random story to bring to the table today. Oh. That happened with Alicia Marie. Which is just, it's so crazy Sorry. that this happened. Did you see my face? I was like, yeah, because I didn't know what you were talking about. And then I went, uh, you said Alicia Marie, I go, 
me what you know what i'm gonna talk about i'm scared because when it happened i was like we have to talk about oh, this oh uh, but like how in detail do we want to be because like i was again i was thinking I have, a, I have a long drive i live far from the studio you guys so like i have a lot to think about i literally made a note of like what we should talk about and i want to know like how in detail because people are going to go through and and look for it like people will i mean i don't care it. Do we want to like name names? I don't care. <gasps> okay, sorry. let's name names. Randy's <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, I was like, what's nothing story to do with me? me? Well, I also hopefully we're on the same page. We'll right get now. we'll we'll get back to that. But I I'll, I thought you were talking about the dating show, and I was like, what do you mean? Oh, I did do a dating show. Okay, yeah, let's start with that. Should and we then, start with that? What a great segue. I know. As Lord DIY would say, a segu into the next. A segu. She thought it was segu. <laughs> a segu. I have actually so much to update on Lord DIY later. Continue on though. Okay. Um, yeah, so Joey Graceffa does this series on his YouTube. It's kind of, it's like in a, on a psych wall where people do like blind dating and like all That's that kind like of stuff. It's like the new wave of YouTube, like David yes. Alvarez, yes. Cut. Yes, What's Very the other Truth one? or Drink vibes. But, but. Jubilee? Jubilee. Jubilee, yeah. Jubilee. Um, and he's been asking me for a while to go on it. I was like, oh my God, yeah, for sure. But schedule wise, it just never worked out. And then I got sick and it got to the point where I was like, Alicia, it looks like you're trying to get out of this and you, you need to prioritize this because even though I was like it, I was like, oh, it, it, I'm sure this is my intrusive thoughts. I was like, oh my God, he probably thinks I'm purposely trying not to do it. And da, 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 da. like, I need to prioritize this. So I was like, okay, we're getting it on the books. I will not reschedule this for any way, shape or form. Like if a doctor appointment would come up, I'd be like, oh, I'll reschedule with Joey. And I'm like, no, we're, this is top of my list. Right. Yeah. And fuck it's the doctor. Fuck the doctor. Joey I don't need a, obvious, calling. obviously. So, um, I wasn't even sure what exact thing we were doing. I just know he did. He's done a few different types of dating things. I can't believe you did that. No, honestly, I got nervous the morning of, and I was like, why did I say this to this one? I would be so nervous. <laughs> I, more so because I think I was just like, oh, also not having the power of editing. I was like, oh, I hope they don't make me look like a bitch. Or well, like, what if I say thing. the wrong thing? And yeah. then it comes out wrong, but I don't mean it. So it's not out yet. So I'm just, you know, hopefully it comes out. And do you it's, get to watch it back before it comes out? I asked, I was like, hey, like, do I have any like freedom to watch and give back notes? He's like, oh my God, for sure. Like, like we, we don't want to paint you like wrong in any way. Like oh, you're a nice friend, like, don't worry about Aww. it. And I was explaining, I was like, well, I was on another one of these before. And maybe I'm just kind of scarred because they promised mm -hmm. multiple times that we would have the freedom to look over it and give any notes or feedback mm -hmm. and then months later it finally just drops out of nowhere and it's public and i i remember i was like <gasps> which luckily i mean i didn't say anything bad but i was like oh it's just so weird to promise that you're gonna get the yeah. freedom to look it back and give notes and like a final run through and say and then only for it to be public public and you watch it and i'm like that's how most reality stars feel though because they don't get to see like we're lucky because we're used of our own content and oh, like yeah. if we say something that we're like oh like you know, maybe I was mad at Ash. I don't know, whatever fucking shit. And I'm like, or, oh, let me redo, redo that take again or, you know, whatever. It's so different. I, so, I do feel bad for reality stars. I've had some friends do a reality show and they, what was it? Oh yeah, so one of our friends, friends, so we don't really know her, but we did meet her, was on The Bachelor. <gasps> and she, she got a bad she edit. Was, she well, literally actually, turned out to be like a villain. Did you watch that season? I didn't watch it. Here's the thing. Like I do agree that a lot of times you can get a bad edit but i also don't think you can get a bad edit if you don't do bad things yeah you know like she gave them that energy i'm gonna put her on should i put her on blast i mean we're not friends with her mj on the bachelor with matt james season like she wasn't as bad there was one girl on there who was really bad that season and like i think they were kind of friends so i think that's where it came from but like she said those things to get that edit like and yeah not just her but like in general if you get a bad edit on any reality show like you said those things yeah but again out of context maybe it was actually about something else not what they made it seem like but i can't imagine that that would suck <laughs> i'm like i can't imagine that well right now there is the new season of the bachelor people are going crazy because there are very definitive mean girls and mm. very definitive not mean girls on the season interesting and the mean girls are like apparently very bad i, I have not started the season yet i'm waiting to get oh like we're towards the end but apparently there are some mean girls and they're getting I wouldn't even say, I guess they're getting bad edits, but like, yeah. Damn, I keep saying this to you, but I really want Dean and Kaylin to come on here. I, you guys. Batch Nation. If you are a part of Bachelor Nation, you know the king and queen that is Deanie Babies and Kaylin Miller Keys. And then out of nowhere, Ash starts hanging out with Deanie Babies and Kaylin. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening like you all we all know we all watched Rachel season we all watched Colton season we all watched Bachelor in Paradise like 
this is insane. Insane. They're all of a sudden like hanging out. Turns out Ash's boyfriend is like best friends with Deanie Babies. And that's why. Like they were roommates, I think. And they were oh, yeah. roommates. And they were roommates. And they were roommates. And so I like lost my mind. Alicia starts to become friends with them. I'm like, what is going on? My birthday party rolled around last year. Ash was like, hey, um, Dean's out of town. Can Kaylin come? Doesn't finish sentence. Are you kidding? <laughs> I will lay down so she can get you, onto the boat. You trapped her on the eye. I will literally, <laughs> yes. I will do whatever it takes. She's the sweetest person in the world. They're both very Alicia sweet. was like, oh my God, we should have them on the... Say I would love, no more. I would love them. They have a podcast themselves. You guys should go watch it. Go subscribe. And they do? Yes, they do. I didn't know. I'll be watching. I love them. They're so nice. Um, I You know like- who didn't get a bad at it? Them. <laughs> well, wasn't Dean like a villain? I forget. We, we'll ask them. We'll talk about it with them. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, not like on Bachelor in Paradise, which is where I really cared. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Um, we haven't even invited them on, and I'm assuming they'll come on, but I hope they want to come on. If, the, if not, I, I will say the, it was so fascinating hearing their behind the scenes of like how it works. I will say actually they kind of both were a little bit villainized, but only because I feel like they were real contenders. Mm. So, you know, like when they're, it's competition. Yeah. It's competition. Yeah. If you were on The Actual Bachelor, have you ever watched an, like a season no, uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. I forget what girl I watched though. And everyone was like, oh, you sh- I watched The Bachelorette and I should have watched. The Bachelor yeah. goes hard yeah. because the girls go crazy. I remember one but season I, liked I was like, I want to watch it too. And I want to be on the bandwagon. So you I should, downloaded should the watch next this season. I, sh- I have to start those types of shows from the beginning. Yeah. Because I, I need to learn the characters. And like, even when Scandaval came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to watch from season one. Like I literally yeah. like, or sorry, I watched all of season 10, and but then I caught up from the, I was like, I just need to know all of the context because I, I don't like being out of the loop. I understand. So what would be, you be your like MO on The like Bachelor? Like my tagline? Or just, you no, know, like, like what would be, what what do you think you would be? Would you be like a the nice girl? My ego wants to say I'm like the cool, chill girl, but in reality, I know I would be the one crying because I cry at anything. <laughs> I would be the crying one who's like they probably paint to be so annoying and is just like so sensitive and like which like is fine, but I do think that would be me. I feel like okay, I could see that. I when I watch these shows pre Cal. Even if I watch them now, I'm like, what would I do? Yeah. And I like to imagine that I would be very much like, I, I would like to be cool where if he doesn't pick me, I'd be like, I respect that. I'm not going to beg someone to pick me, but I don't, you don't know till you're in it. No, I, I, tr- I, as my, I'm just not a cool, I'm not a cool girl. Like I'm really not. I would be, oh my God. I think I'd be so sad to watch. I think. I'm I, also the type where it's like, if it's like everyone run over, I would, I like let other people go first. So I yeah. would, I wouldn't like get in there, you know? You, I think, and if anybody is watching that is into Bachelor Nation, you give me like Serena Pitt vibes. Is that a good thing or yeah, a bad no, thing? No, people okay. love her. She's okay. very sweet. She was on MJ season. Oh, T. And she was like from the get go, he was just very much into her. Oh, wait, I take it back. You give me abigail vibes is that good or bad love her she was so sweet she was um also on matt james's season and she got the first impression rose which is like a huge thing and there is like a lot of um i follow a lot of like bachelor data like scientific (laughs) graph accounts and a lot of times like the women that get the first impression rose like go very far if Mm. not win but she was like one of the very few that got it and then kind of like fell into the background that has to be a producer thing no i don't think so this person the first no no, no. i think it's legit i think they i just uh you still never watched unreal huh no what oh my god full circle sorry real quick hold it don't forget it um when i did joey's show the producer was is literally one of the bachelor producers he was amazing i loved him he was like let's get drinks and we have and i was like yes so So we're gonna be friends do they orchestrate a lot so i had mentioned i was like i did i'm assuming you've watched unreal and he was like oh my god i actually haven't but or i think he said he hadn't but a lot of people popping up in your life i know because it's based off of all that he so he basically said that show is based off of how it used to be but now like that shit can't fly i believe that before they basically would be like hey if you get this girl to cry you'll you'll get a chanel like that's (gasps) what they would do to the producers to get reactions and that's why they would like like poke and like 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 manipulate things insane but now he's like no that shit can't fly i'm gullible and i want to believe it's real so i choose to believe it's all and that's why if you notice every episode i'm like is it real because i'm the complete opposite i'm like did that when's this coming oh yeah i'm like did the stripper fall off the pole for views for usher i I just (laughs) think it's real like i'll believe it's real until i 
until someone comes out and says that it's not, until the NDA expires and they say that wasn't real. When Alicia and I got the opportunity for this ad read, we absolutely lost our mind. Pretty Basic is being sponsored by Revolve. Now, if you guys watch the vlogs, if you've literally ever watched any piece of content that Alicia and I have ever made, you know that we are Revolve's biggest fans. They are our go-tos for literally anything from a brand trip to uh, like a business situation. If I want to wear like a cute little blazer for a business meeting, boom, revolve. If I'm going to a wedding, if I'm going to a bachelorette party, it truly festivals, anything, vacations, parties, absolutely anything. You guys know Revolve has the cutest clothes for absolutely every occasion from, you know, if I'm going on a trip in the winter to a trip in the summer, they have the most amazing shopping experience. And personally, my favorite thing is how quick their shipping is. So if you're a last minute shopper like Alicia or I, and you know, you randomly are going on a trip, or if you forgot to shop for a trip that's coming up for a long time or festival seasons right around the corner, I don't know how Coachella is like what, six weeks away? I do not know how that happened. They have you covered on everything from accessories to dresses to business wear to shoes to makeup. They have everything. So from last minute trips to event dressing to seasonal refreshes, Revolve has you covered with fast two-day shipping and hassle-free returns all on them. So go to revolve.com slash pretty basic today to shop my top picks for the season. And don't forget to check out the festival edit while you're there. It just dropped and it's too good. That's R-E-V-O-L-V-E.com slash P-R-E-T-T-Y-B-A-S-I-C. So you guys know I'm a big advocate of self-care and doing things that prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional health. I don't know about you guys, but when I was finally out on my own, I was so excited to be an adult. And then I was daunted with the task of finding all my own doctors. I was no longer in my hometown. I didn't have the doctors that I grew up with. I had to find my own dentist, primary care doctor, all of the things. And it was very overwhelming. And ZocDoc is truly amazing. If you guys are in my position, I actually recently just made an appointment for my friend on ZocDoc to find a new psychiatrist. And it was so easy. The filters were just awesome. You can filter in anything that you need from like location to what specifically like you're looking for to their reviews to all the things. It's a great way to prioritize self-care and just take away all the stress of finding a new doctor. So basically ZocDoc is a place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. So don't settle, go for the best and find the right doctor for you. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. You guys know I love me some self-care, whether that is getting a massage or a facial, getting my nails done, taking a bubble bath. I love me a bubble bath. Another form of self-care and just de-stressing is using ZocDoc because finding a doctor or any sort of health professional that you need can get very stressful. And by downloading and using ZocDoc, you can save yourself a ton of stress and just enjoy life or maybe just even have more time to take that bubble bath, to take a nap, whatever it is. Go to ZocDoc.com slash basic and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash basic. ZocDoc.com slash basic. Oh my God. Yeah. But, but Abigail sorry, was, a, she was so cute and so sweet. And so she was like so into him. Cause like, obviously she got the first rose. And then like, as the weeks went on, she was not asked on dates. I don't think she ever got a one-on-one date. And like, he gets to pick who mm. goes on these one-on-one dates. And so finally at the end, she was like, is there something wrong with me? Like yeah. what happened? And he was like, I'm so sorry. Like basically the spark was there. Now it's not for him. He's been with this other girl that won for like a really long time, but you give me that vibe. Cause then she went on bachelor in paradise, which fun fact, she's now engaged to that Noah guy that you thought was really cute before they went on bachelor in paradise. Who? Remember Noah, he was a guy where you sent me, I friend, think he was friends like with a mutual friend. And yes. you were going to, I think like you were going to maybe, was there something that was going to happen with that? Or did we just talk Haley about Ringo. that? Yeah. yeah. She, she was like, Oh, I want to set you guys up. Yes. I think we DM'd a few times, but that was it. Literally, then, literally but nothing. then they went on and bachelor. In, and he like, kind of was like, not, giving you much because I think he knew he was about to go on Bachelor in Paradise. Lo and behold, they go on Bachelor in Paradise. They fall in love. Now they have a house in like Wait, Indiana or I something. Love that. Yeah. Shoot, but you give me her vibes where like I feel like that would happen. And then you would just be like the sweet girl that everyone loves. And then boom, you get married. And oh you god. own a house in some I state, maybe Iowa. Oh my god. Some, something. Iowa. An I state. <laughs> it is, see, they're somewhere it's in so an I state. They are it's Nebraska, so maybe they're like somewhere an in I that. state, you know, one of the one of those. You know. Illinois. Wait, what, that's they're, they're so over there. funny. That's the vibe you give me. Wait, so what? What? What do we think you would be? <laughs> like, like without Cal in the picture, obviously. I think I would be. 
I just feel like you'd be so smiley the me. whole time. Like you'd be like being the nice girl, but everyone would be like, something's off. <laughs> Because and then in my confessionals, I'm like, fuck this. No, fuck no. That, fuck well, this. also when you're not smiling, you have such a resting bitch face. I didn't know that. No, no, no. Because when you're you're always like this, so when you're not, you're like on the pod. People say that, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. I no, don't mean to. No, no, no. It's just such a contrast. So I can picture like they would. You, you know, you would get a bad edit. I'm so I sorry. I would get such a bad. You would edit. get a bad edit because this is what they would do while they're setting up and like saying they're not recording. Your reaction would be a straight face, and you'd be like blinking or like doing like a weird like you'd be like blinking for your contacts but it would look like it's you doing an I'm eye annoyed, roll annoyed yeah and that's what they would take that shit they'd be you know they're recording on that stuff you're so they're right. taking that stuff or if they were to be like speak louder and you're like huh they would take that <gasps> huh in response to me being like oh my god yeah she gave me a weird look cut to remy huh like that's how they would they would totally they'd be like damn we gotta like this is this is reality gold yeah, right they're here like oh yeah, yeah like i feel like you would I feel like you'd get a bad edit Ugh, i cannot well i mean i'm not or, going to but i can't go on you would shows. be crying about like an animal dying that you saw on tiktok and then they would take that and you'd be like i just don't get why this is happening and then it's cutting <laughs> to like the guy breaking up <laughs> in reality you were like eh, i had a good time <laughs> got some free food yeah, got so, some you know, drinks yeah, made some friends. Like, yes you would get a bad edit yeah, I would definitely get a bad edit. And I would like let them give me a bad edit but watching, easily. Watching back with the rest of the world, you'd be like, oh, that's not how it went. <laughs> I want to believe that again, but like I gave them the things to work with. I signed my life away. Mm -hmm. All to say, you went on a dating show. Oh. You were the bachelorette. <laughs> I was the bachelorette. How was it? It was actually, it was interesting because I definitely was like, oh, I just, especially it basically, it was a blind dating series. So if you've seen, if you've seen his his stuff before, it, ev all the guys stand behind a white sheet. All that shows are their <sighs> feet. So you make remarks based off of like, okay, their shoes. Like, let's see. Like, mm, and you ask them different questions each round. And then slow after each round, the curtain goes up higher, slowly higher, and slowly higher. Okay. to where obviously the last one is everything but their face. Okay. So I I was just like, oh my God, I feel like also too, I, I've never done any dating show type anything. That's been the gold people have been trying to get me forever because I just don't talk much about my dating life. Um, and I am more of a like private person with certain things. So I think in my head, I was like, oh my God, people are going to eat this up just because they haven't seen me like in something like this. No one's seen you flirt. I've like never seen you flirt in real life. Because I, I'm one of, I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm one of the silent ones. It's like, whenever you're gone, I'm like, <laughs> and I have a little butterfly and I just fly away. <laughs> I just don't like feeling like everyone's watching where you're like, yeah, I put on a show. You're across the room. No, you're across the room just staring. And I'm like, <laughs> don't look at me. I'm the friend who's like, don't look at me. Like, don't like, even last night we were out. Um, Haley was actually in town. So we're all out at dinner. And one of the girls at our table was like, oh, that waiter's cute. And she's like, let me go talk to him. And so she like gets up and goes, and she's like, no, 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 not everyone look, just like, stop. Just like, like, don't look. And I'm like, that is literally me. Like I would have such bad anxiety right now if I were you, because Haley's over there like, oh my God. So I'm like out at this table with like eight other girls. And one of them thinks they're really cute. And like, it, or she's asking the waitress, she's like, is he single? Is he gay? What's his vibe? Da -da, tell me everything. So then her and the other waiter are like looking over at our table and we're all like, oh my God, they're probably trying to figure out which one of us it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, um, it was just really funny because I was like, I would literally be you. I hate this shit. Like, I hate knowing people are watching. All that to say, me now being in front of six guys and having to, like, like knowing the cameras are watching. And I'm like, oh, my God. They're like, whatever. So it, it definitely felt like a normal shoot in that sense. And also, I actually was like, oh, my God. It was so weird not seeing them because I'm asking them different questions. Love is blind. It's li no, I literally was in love is I blind. I love that. And it was, it was really fun because some of the questions were really light. Like what's your green flag? But then also they were like, you can go as in as you want or if it's not. So I was like, okay, like what are your thoughts on sex on the first date? And I purposely was like, I don't want to say my thoughts to alter what they're going to yeah, say. Like a psychic. I know. So I'm like, what are your thoughts? Like, I'm not going to say anything else. So each of them saying like different, even for instance, that question, like sex on the first date, I'm like thinking of you where I'm like, oh, like obviously it worked out, bitch. But then I'm also thinking of other friends where I'm like, oh, I've heard like, so like, so it was so interesting hearing all their thoughts. But then by the end, um, I was like, well, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious, like how you can defend your answer for it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, and then you had to eliminate some each, someone each round. And that's what was honestly the hardest part of everything. I have so many questions. Did 
you did you, did you feel more comfortable because you couldn't see them? Oh, a thousand percent. For sure. I feel like that's like the beauty of love is blind. It's like you get to know someone for real. All the guys were actually so hot. Like I was just going to ask that. Every okay. time, every time I'd eliminate someone, they'd come around and be like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, damn it. The guy that won, are we into him? Wait, but like you liked him for his answers in person. Like love is blind, bitch. Or is love blind? I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So love is not blind. Love is not blind. Or so Nick Lachey and Vanessa Lachey. Why? You go in. In a nice way. In a respectful I know, way. In a nice way. In a nice way. Um, I think what happened was I was very aware of if I was filming this. Like I f- it felt less of an actual real dating show. Like I'm yeah. looking for love and just more of like a video. Like because I kept thinking like, oh, what would be good for the video? Like, what questions should I ask? Like, uh, what'll be good? Like, I, I was thinking more of Joey's perspective. So nice of you. So I turn around while all the guys walk in. And then that way, when I turn back around, all I see are their shoes, but they had to do a sound check for their mics. So the sound guy's like, oh, like say your name and like where you're from or whatever, just to get the sound levels. So we're not even really recording right now. And the first guy, I'm like, oh, hot voice. The second guy, British accent. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, wait like what the Niagara hell? Falls no literally I was like oh like wait <laughs> shit <laughs> um and literally it was so it was so interesting it was so I, you'll have to watch I don't know when it's coming out when it came down to the guy that won and then like the top the top two the essentially top two, appar- were they very like were that were you close between the two yeah so like could we go for number two well if number one's not gonna I had that out? thought and then they go oh yeah they're friends oh <laughs> uh, you can't be a homie hopper my I friend can't, I can't I literally was like oh my god and one guy it came down to the last one. I was like, oh, how do I like eliminate someone? Because this is really hard. And then um, the 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 runner up basically was, I was like, what is your red flag about yourself? Like what's something, um, you know? And he had said, he was like, oh, I've had past girlfriends. Like I'm like, I socialize. I like, I like, travel a lot. I do a lot of social things. And I've had a lot of past girlfriends, like not like um, me being around other girls. So I was like, oh, that's an easy, like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to see you with 20 bitches. Like I was like, what's your first date? He was like, oh, I would take you on my jet to blah, 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 like that type of stuff. And I was like, I was like, okay, I know your type mm. and I'm not into that. But that he was, was number stressed. two. That was two. So we but, don't like two. We don't like one. How come we don't like one? <sighs> Go in, bitch. No. He's not going to listen to this. No, he followed me and he he got my number or he, I, he, I, he wanted my number. So I took his because I felt bad because it was his birthday. And I was like, why are you here on your birthday? day and I literally, and then he yeah and he was he was sweet he was you're such a bitch no I felt so I'm bad just kidding. I'm just I kidding. felt so bad if it doesn't click it doesn't click like you I don't know. need to feel bad about it no, as long as I you're just, respectful I know but I was just like oh I don't want it like if like the chance of him watching it he just wasn't my type okay and that's <laughs> fine that's not mean I know that's okay <sighs> it's okay like okay looks wise yeah or, okay <laughs> Okay, no, that was a country response, so let's redo that one again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't do any of this shit. Anyways, uh, it actually is going to be a really good video. I'm you, so excited. I'm, I'll send you the link once it's out. Please. A thousand percent. You guys should go watch no, it. No, I want to watch the raw edit when Joey gives it to you. Okay. And then I'll I, watch the yeah, final yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Please. Well, I, honestly, I even told him afterwards. I was like, look, I didn't say anything. Like, the, like I'm happy with every, I'm, you know, there was nothing that I thought was off, but... It's more again how they edit it because like they could easily make me look cunty. Okay, how many guys were there? Six. Okay, out of the six, which one would you say is like your top pick now that you eliminated? Oh, there was this Maybe one come guy. Back. There, there was a few that gave me their number, and then there was one Bitch. guy. He made me a shirt, but Aww. he was kind of young, but he was really cute. Young? How young? He was like 20, 25 or six. Okay, that's and not I was bad. like, it's not bad, but I'm like, ah. Uh. Okay, okay, but like they so all had beautiful blue eyes. Which one would you pick now? after everything who was who was the kind of like who was the kind of douchey one that i liked you love a douche he was he was like at the end or something here's the thing Alicia, i like his personality you're going to date a douche ollie and i talk about it a lot <laughs> and we're not looking forward to it because then we have to hang out with a douche but like i could tell he had a sensitive side i was uh, like you're feisty i like it okay but yeah i'll take what i can get anyways but also now i'm forgetting what he looks like so i'm like not that Maybe much love of a is lasting blind. memory. Maybe love is blind. I think you should give number one a chance. He won for a reason. But it was fun. It was fun. Um, the winner ended up not really being my type, but such a sweet guy. 
such a sweet guy. So I'm trying to think of like one of my friends I can hook him up with. I don't want to be that person, but don't I'm like, be that person. <laughs> he's fine. If he's a nice guy, he'll find a nice woman that cherishes him. Speaking of nice men who find nice women who cherishes them. How's wedding planning going? Oh, what a segue. <laughs> a segu? A segu. I, um, not, it's not, I haven't started anything yet still. Okay. I, I do think I'm supposed to get some venues at the end of this week, I believe. Um, there are certain areas that I was very much interested in, but due to the rain, they flooded. Oh, so they're like, hey, come back in a few weeks. No, literally, <laughs> so that, it, it's taken a while. I did my meeting like a month and a half ago and nothing's really come of it yet because of said well, flooding then there's things. been two floods since. Yeah, there's been a lot of rain. So uh, nothing yet, but I will say, and I don't know if I talked about it on the pod. I probably did that I'm Kaylee's maid of honor. Yeah. I talked about that here. I think so. And um, I'm super excited. It's so funny because, so I'm going to Lauren's bachelorette literally the day after tomorrow. We're going to What's today? Tulum. Tuesday. Thursday. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to Tulum. And it's just like the most Lauren DIY thing ever. She has planned her whole trip. She has planned her whole trip. Literally, down to massages. No, like she's planned everything. Like I literally got a packing list today from her that was like, hi, in case anybody's packing in the rain. Like she is so perfectly type A and like as a fellow type A person, I love it. Already has everything planned, booked everything, got spreadsheets. We're doing split things, all this thing. Like it's so well orchestrated. And then on the flip side, whom I love so much, I love Kaylee so much. My poor sweet girl, my poor sweet girl. In one week, her classroom flooded. Oh, her school's next to a farm. So animal shit has flooded into her room. She had to move to a different school. Her house flooded because her pipe burst. So she had to stay there for a while, was waiting for insurance to figure it out. Uh, she has some fun drama, won't go into that. And had another thing happen all in a week and is wedding planning. Oh my God. And her fiance is a lawyer who started, I need to text him. He started trial today for like the biggest case ever. So basically she's doing everything alone. All to say, as the maid of honor and as a traditional maid of honor, she has asked me to step in to help with so much. <laughs> as most maid of that's their duty. Which I, I like, love the job. I'm like so excited to ha and happy to help. And she's, I've learned already, she's like not one to ask for help. So I have to literally be like, I'm doing this. So I'm, we're, we're figuring out early on how I need to help. At least you're going to Lauren's this weekend. So that way you can figure out what you love. Get the vibe. Get the I vibe. Know. What was worth it? What wasn't? And, and then I, you're like, I'm gonna still up for Kaylee. Exactly. And I love it. And I think it's so funny. Cause like, it's just one side of the spectrum. The other, like I'm fully going to do Kaylee's and I love that. And I'm so excited to do it. Lauren, we're like, all of us are in a group chat without her. Cause this will go up after where we're like, <laughs> um, so like, what do we, we do? do because we bring she's done anything? everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I bought some banners. <laughs> I got her a sash. It like doesn't go with the aesthetic. <laughs> no, literally. And I'm like, I don't know what she wants. Cause like she's, she wants to plan it. But we, Mia and I were like, okay, let's get her a sash. We got her a robe and slippers. And then Kelsey was like, okay, well I'm going to get her these games. So like, we're trying our best to do what we can for someone who's so type A. All That's perfect. Say, She'll appreciate anything. Big shout out to Kay. Because while I'm not a girl who's had a Pinterest board for my wedding since I was 12, Kaylee Tara Cooper is. Did she send you like a share link? So I've got the Thank Pinterest God. board and let me just tell you, if you guys did not know, this thing right here is game changing. Whether you're a maid of honor or not, whether you're planning an entire bachelorette party in two months by yourself or not, or not, <laughs> or not. This is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We've been talking to you guys about this thing. Her Pinterest board that she has been building since literally like 2012. I've got it right here. The circle to search has already saved my life on so many occasions because I love Pinterest, but Pinterest is the epitome of not linking things ever, ever. Also, it's not even Pinterest, it's the creators, they gatekeeping. They're gatekeeping. They don't want you to find things. And also like if she has pinned a post from 2012, there's no way I'm gonna find it unless I use my circle to search feature, you hold down the button, I circle, boom, I know exactly, like I'm so excited actually. I have some secrets up my sleeve. I'm going all out. I'm going to try. Oh, I don't want to say it because I don't want to yeah, know. Say it. I'm just going all out just so you know. But literally, I'm going to make it exactly what she wants. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm so excited. I love it. I love, love. I'm so excited. I'm getting all this inspo for my own wedding. But uh, big shout out to Circle to Search because truly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I don't know what I would do without the Circle to Search feature because I 
<laughs> just like, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I, don't know what I, I'm doing. I, I mean, I'm not getting married anytime soon, but I love this feature because if I'm on Pinterest or something or even Instagram, I will circle someone's jeans and it is so exact. <laughs> it is so, the fact that I'm talking about no, jeans and you're talking about wedding stuff. <laughs> I'm like, it is so exact to the exact pair. And it'll also show you like other options that are similar. So if a celebrity posts something and you find out that it's designer, there will also be cheaper alternatives near it. So that way you can see, you can see everything. You can see the exact pair. The AI is also powered by Google. So it's so freaking exact, which is why it's amazing. I have to say, again, I haven't really started much in my journey yet, but I found this girl on TikTok who was wearing, I sent it to you. I, she was wearing, she went to like a bridal showroom and she wasn't in LA. She was like in a, a different showroom where she lives. And she tried on this one dress that I was like, I think that's got to like be. Like you could I, see yourself I in think it? it's got to be my dress. And, but she didn't specify and showrooms have like hundreds Thousands, of different yeah. designers and things. So I didn't know. I circled to search it. I found it. And That's I reached insane. out to the designer to see maybe if, if we could like do something. I don't know if it's going to turn out to be anything, but like at least the style I loved. Also, I'm hoping this isn't confusing for people, but it's it's a feature on the phone. Like mm -hmm. it's not an app. So that way, whether you're on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, you literally hold down the button on the phone and then it, it looks like magic. It like comes up with like, um, it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah like all over it and then do a full circle whatever it is and that's how it'll search it so like that's my favorite thing about it is that it's about the it's on the phone it's not like a plug-in it's not like another app you have to download I feel like I've had apps like that in the past that like try to reverse google search or something and it never works it never actually finds something um and the accuracy of this is insane i've literally done like chandelier lights before just for fun i'll be like wait you should do my top <gasps> okay wait oh my god love it me actually posing <laughs> one two three okay now i go to the photo i hold down the button mm -hmm. oh my god the pictures of momo i have on this <laughs> don't ig just ignore my you, momo where did pics. i get my momo where did i get my momo sweet paws and meows <gasps> literally did you get it at urban outfitters yeah do they have a dupe on walmart probably they do <laughs> and i wouldn't know that Oh my God, T. Um, wait. Oh my God, they found a Depop one too. Wait, wait, wait that is really? amazing. Yeah. No, it's insane. Like, actually, it's really cool. I will. Not, I'm not kidding. I do it for fun sometimes. Just be like, hey, where's that from? Like, with this no plan of buying anything. Iconic. Um, you know what? Also, could be really cool. You could keep that in mind for like bridesmaid dresses. Oh, from like, oh, you're so right. Mm -hmm. You're so. That's really right. good. Maybe I need to start building a little board for my wedding. Wow, you look stunning in this photo, by well, the way. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Maybe we'll post it on the Pretty Basic <laughs> Instagram. Also, sorry, let's get sentimental for a second. Also, the translate feature on that. <gasps> if your grandma comes to you trying wedding dresses. Oh my God. Wait, she does need to come. She should come. Well, you're so right. And I'm like, I would love to just say thank you so much for birthing my birthing birthing, birthing her my... father who birthed her exactly who married the woman that birthed her yes <laughs> thank you for changing my life oh. have you still not met her yet no i know i keep trying to call her on this podcast and she does not pick up it's okay it's okay it's one okay. day i'm gonna schedule like i'm gonna be like grandma pick up at this time yes perfect. i'm gonna have to plan that yeah if you guys didn't know and this is really incredible um my grandma really doesn't speak much english when we have conversations they're very short and it's a lot of like <laughs> like, like she's so cute yeah just like giggling but it's really really cool and I actually haven't seen her yet I need to go visit her and pull this out this is so cool so there's actually like an interpreter translator I'm already on Korean here um and when you basically and it, it's really cool also because it's kind of split and you can actually flip the top so like you and I let's say I speak Korean and you speak English then we can be like having a full-blown conversation and like it's facing ourselves too which is going to be so cool you know if we travel or if i go talk to my grandma okay let me see oh you know what i'll try and say the few things that i have i was gonna in say Korean. Annyeonghaseyo, sarangye. hello i love you you know time and time again we're just learning that galaxy ai is the new it girl yes and galaxy ai is here on the galaxy s24 ultra so get yours the link down below we love skims here at pretty basic rem and i are constantly sending each other the new drops that they're having my whole closet is slowly becoming skims i am currently really wanting this like one black piece lingerie thing that they have it's in my cart and i just need to i just need to do it. i'm constantly buying stuff from there if you don't know what skims is or you know what maybe you're just not convinced skims is creating the next generation of underwear and bras for every buddy. I cannot tell you how much I love all of the Skims items I have. 
I want to say for like three or four years, I pretty much only wore bralettes. I would never wear an actual, you know, more traditional bra because they were so uncomfortable. But Skims has truly changed the game for me. My personal favorites are the weightless scoop bra. That one. Oh my God, you guys, my girls look great. They also have a wireless form push-up plunge bra. Eh, don't get me started. So now my my bra collection is huge again. And I went from only wearing like t-shirt bralette type things to now wearing more traditional bras. And they're weirdly com- more comfortable than a lot of the bralettes I even had before. And this is how they do it. Skims bras are made with innovative technology to give you the best shape and support. Plus, every bra is designed with the comfiest and softest material. So you'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Like sometimes I forget I'm wearing a bra where in the past I would have been so excited to take it off because I'm just like, oh, I need to get this thing off. Also, depending what you're wanting, Skims offers a complete system of bra solutions for every need and every style too. And no matter what your size is, Skims bras are available now in 62 sizes. That is amazing. From 30A all the way to 46H. Believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims bras are now available at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that we sent you after you place your order. You can select podcast in the survey and you can select our show in the drop down menu that follows. And seriously, it really would mean so much to Rem and I if you take the time to do that. Um, Only obviously if you buy it from us. Again, no matter what you're shopping for, whether it's a crazy event, festival season or what it is, Skims has your back. You should definitely have her come to the wedding dress if you want to the try on. Oh, and I would love for her to come. You should. I didn't think about even doing that there, though. I, th- I definitely will. I mean, I love that. I, I also love how it's just next. It's like there's the flashlight and then there's the interpreter like right next to each other. No, like, I love that you so- can flip it, too. Yeah. I think about the times that like how and I've been in Japan and couldn't figure out where to go. Or like I remember one time I went with my manager years ago <laughs> and we couldn't get around. And we were like going up to like policemen and asking for help. And luckily, a lot of them speak English. So they were very helpful. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, also, we were like. Where do, where do we go? <laughs> yeah, and I feel like that would have been very helpful. Um, and, you know, of course, you want to be, like, as respectful as you can. So I feel like that's a really great way to totally. utilize that. And, um, yeah, I've already been thinking about <laughs> the dress trying on, dress fitting things. And, and like, You're going to look so hot. Oh, well, first of all, thank you. Second of all, I have so many people in my life that I need to take. I've already in my head been like, okay, well, I got to take these people that day. And then I got to do four trip fittings because I got to fit this person. And then that person's got to go. And then this oh, person's got to go. Then, that person's gotta go. But then maybe someone will be upset that they weren't there with the one that you picked when you were there with the one oh, you picked sorry T- don't have time for that love it I already got you were invited <laughs> and I already have a schedule in my head so I was thinking of what would stress you out later huh I was thinking of what would stress you out later oh I'm gonna really try and not be stressed as much as I can it's just a party I've already been thinking how many people I want to invite to do the dress fittings oh yeah and then with that because I have so many people that I want to invite and I just don't want anyone to feel left out yeah how many fittings am I gonna have to do oh <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a hundred <laughs> fittings to make sure everybody could get in and see just focus on you and that's all no I've already had like little like groups in my head of who's going with who so I'm gonna have to do a few that's totally fine I just went with Lauren um a couple weeks ago to do her not final fitting but she put the dress on before her final fitting that's something oh, you could do too. That bitch looks good in everything. Oh, I bet. Everything. She looks so good. Also, like she tried it on and they had to make like some minor adjustments, but also like it already fit her like a glove. Yeah. Like she looked incredible. I've only been dress shopping now with two friends, but both of them look amazing in everything. But I was going to say, I never thought about doing different people for like the first time just trying on any dress versus the one the first fitting of your real dress and then the final fitting of your real dress yeah so that could be nice like if you want your grandma to see the one of you that you actually choose then you can have her come to the last one (laughs) my grandma is gonna be smiling no matter what she's just like okay i love it but you know what i mean like that's the nice too no i love that do people take their dads i don't know honestly i I don't know Oh, and he's cool. I think, I mean, at least in movies, I feel like I've seen it where the dad's yeah. there. I know stereotypically it's like your bridal party and like yeah. maybe your mom, but it's really whoever you want. You right can now, have a whole, you know, it could be a runway show. A full party bus rolls up. Yep. I <sighs> think I'm going to have nine people in my bridal party. That's a good I'm number. I'm deliberating between nine or 10, but TBD on that of what I want to do. I feel like that's a good number. No, I'm so excited. And that's the only thing I've had planned forever is like my bridal party. <laughs> Which it's really interesting because Lauren's not doing a bridal party. Kaylee's doing a traditional bridal party. And it's it's just so fun to have like so many of my best friends getting married and like seeing all of the things going on. Well, and thank God. Sorry to interrupt. Thank oh, God friend. that 
it's less traditional now where it's like, oh, there's lots of traditions that you can do, yeah. but also you don't have to have just, you know, girls in your bridal party. You yeah. can have a guy if you want. You can have no bridal party. Yeah. Um, at Haley's wedding, she had her bridal party sit during the ceremony. Yes. And I, lo- it was beautiful. Oh, that's like, just it was, the to- two of them. It was beautiful. Mm. So it's just cool where it's, you know, we're at this time now where people are tailoring things to how they like. And yeah. it's, it's cool. Yeah. Being able to see so many other weddings and being like, Oh, I liked that. I want to do that. I didn't like that. The wheels are turning. I'm like, yeah. maybe I will have people sit. Also. No, totally. And when you think about it too, even the reception, there's all these traditions, but by the time you do the traditions, this reception's done. So it's like, you know what? Take what you want. If you want to do the cake, do the cake. If you want to do the garter toss, do the garter. Like, you don't have to do any or all of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you can really, you can do whatever you want. I like that idea. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm excited. Do you know anything about the cake? Like, oh my God, the wedding cake t- tastings. That's I'm so gonna excited be fun. for the tasting. I'm so excited for the food tasting. I'm so excited. I'm excited for everything. I feel like I needed this time to like sit in it and kind of, uh, I don't know, just like enjoy our time together. Also, and I'm excited to, to do the planning. You now. went from going to like zero weddings to I think what in a few months, it'll be like four weddings. I have so many weddings. Yeah. So I think it's, it's nice to be able to actually see what other people are doing and yeah. what things you like and it, you know, for sure. I know. I love seeing Laura cause Laura and Kaylee are getting married within the very, like a few months of each Soon, other. Right? Yeah. yeah. So it's really fun to like, see, to, to just be included in things. I'm yeah. so grateful to be included. And then also just to like see everything happening. I'm just so eternally happy i'm gonna be a fucking mess at both of their weddings because like i'm just like so happy for them i love jeremy i love phil i love laura i love Kay. like i'm just like i love love like I i'm love so love. eternally happy for my friends and i can't wait i love it i love it well anyways enough about my love life and lauren's love life and kaylee's love we already life. talked about my love life no we didn't talk about the message oh uh, <laughs> no this was actually just something funny that happened which Oh my God, this was, we should, we should go into it. It's just funny. I think so too. So we're in Vegas and you and don't really often tell me about guys that you think are cute. Like you're very hush hush about boys. I feel like I'm just private because for whatever reason, all my friends, my, I'm just like Ashley, all my friends, my whole life make it a big deal. And I'm like, it's not a big deal. Like it doesn't need a big, it doesn't need a big deal. It is a big deal. But <laughs> clearly I'm attracted to friends like you who are like, what? No, I was so excited. So she messages me or no, no, no. I think we were at dinner. No, we were on the way to dinner. So we were at the hotel and you, we were getting ready in the bathroom and you're like, yes. oh, this guy, I think he lives in Vegas. Uh, I think he's really cute. I think, or I think you said either he's, he's here for the Super Bowl or he lives here and we, we couldn't I was like, figure I it out. I think he lives here, um, but I have a crush on him. He's, he's, so, he's so cute. I love his TikTok. Yeah. You look at him and she shows me his TikTok. I've never seen no, him before. No, I'm not kidding. We're getting ready. And Remy like looks around the doorway and is like, what did you just say? And I was like. No, like I have a crush, like he's cute. Like I have a crush on him. Like I think he's from Vegas. And everyone's like, we need a message him. And I was like, ah, like, okay, we can. Like, that's fine. Like, whatever. No, well, you, not not that didn't that didn't happen. Oh, that was at dinner. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That was at in the hotel. So we're getting ready. <laughs> Me, that didn't right. happen. <laughs> so we're getting ready. And she's like, Yeah, I think he lives here. Like very nonchalant. And you're like, I think he's a firefighter. And I was like, hot. Love that. <laughs> and then we just continue getting ready. And then we were running late, so we ran into the car and we're sitting in insane we were traffic. Drunk. You were. I was oh. sober. I hadn't even started drinking yet. Oops. But you were being so silly. Cal was drunk because Cal made you a drink. We're literally getting ready, and Alicia goes, Cal, I think Remy wants a drink. <laughs> and he's like, Okay, what does she want? And you're like, I think she wants a double tequila crystal light. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, okay. Well, if Remy wanted that, what crystal light flavor would she want? Which, as we all know, I'm most likely drinking vodka on the night. Um, I dabble in tequila, but mostly I'm going for the vodka. So he knew it was obviously for you. And he was like, okay, well, like what, 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 what crystal life flavor would you want? And you're like, I don't know. Anything. Maybe like, yeah, whatever. And so he made you a drink. I was like, I'm going to wait to start the festivities. My favorite is he goes, what does Alicia want? <laughs> As in you. Yeah. And I was like, nothing. <laughs> That's right. I knew you did it. I forgot about that. <laughs> and so you're on another level while we're driving over. Cal's on another level. And yeah, Vegas I'm, night one. No, and I, I, but I've learned I have to pace myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. to pace myself. So I was waiting till we got to dinner and Alicia's like, oh my God, he shows up on her feed while we're driving in the taxi. And she's like, see, on Instagram, she's like, see, this is his page. I've never seen this man before. And so I take the phone out of her hand. I swipe right on his profile and I say, Hey, exclamation point. She, said, she sends a DM and I was like, honestly, fuck it. Who cares? I hit send. And then throughout the weekend, we were like, 
oh, did he look yet? Like he didn't, he didn't open it. You know what's so funny? Now that I'm thinking back, I remember when I followed him, I was like, oh, he's totally gonna follow me back. And he didn't. And I was like, oh, that's weird. But I didn't think much of it. So then you sent the DM. And then I remember thinking like, oh, he's gonna reply. Like he's gonna see it. And then he didn't open it for the longest time. And I was like, oh, that's so weird. Cause his, his shtick, his thing is, his name's Mario Morante. I think that's how you say his last name. And his shtick is like being single and like looking for a baddie or whatever. And I was oh, like, oh, that's his whole shtick. That's shtick. his whole shtick is being oh. single. And like, he's just funny. He reminds me so much of Nick from New Girl who like I fucking love. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, you're funny. Like this, like, wait, oh my God, do I have a crush on you? So then I'm like, yeah, one day goes by, two, and then I start saying, I'm like, is he even in Vegas? Like, why did I put that together? But okay, whatever. And, you know, his things keep coming up, but no reply, no reply. And I'm like, damn, I, w- I would have at least thought I secured that in the bag. Just you know what I mean? High. Just like just a, a hey. just like a, oh, like, okay, whatever, it's fine. But it's so much better to be left on delivered than on scene. So the weekend goes on. We didn't think anything of it. I no, literally, this forgot. is like, this is like Thursday night. Yes. Right? Yeah. The, the Super Bowl weekend goes by, no reply. I was like, whatever, it's fine. We shot. Rem was like, I'm sorry. I was like, no, no, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, I was like, shoot, I, I shouldn't have sent that. I was I'm like, sorry. it's fine. It's so fine. We shot our shot. And then we get home and I'm scrolling on TikTok and all of a sudden, and I've never seen this man before. I've literally, until you brought him up. All of a sudden he's on my For You page and he's duetting this girl that we know named Bryn, who we met on a benefit branch of Love Her. Stunning. She's so beautiful, so nice. I was like, gonna so say, much also so really fun. nice. So fun. And her roommate Skylar, who was so sweet too. Yes. They're all so sweet. And so we became friends with her. And so they're like, it's Bryn posting a video and then he's duetting it. And I'm like reading the text and I'm like, holy shit. This was like their hard launch they, that they just started dating. They hard launch like three days after we DM'd him. And I was like, oh my God. But also respectful King, thank you so no, much. We love that. We, no, love, love it so much. Also like now they're on a TikTok, like public uh, feud. Oh my God. Of like who, who's out of who's league. Yeah. And like the sweetest where he's like, she's out of my league. And she's like, we're in the same. Like, like they're so cute. I'm so happy for them. But I sent it to Alicia when I, when I first saw the, like her, vi- she was like visiting him in Vegas. Like that was the first thing I saw. And I was like, oh shit so I sent it to Alicia and you didn't even reply you just put like haha or something Uh-oh. where I didn't I think I did that thing where I don't actually watch, watch the it. TikTok and I just reply well I was like oh okay she's like not bothered whatever and then like three days later Alicia sends me being like oh, oh. my god and I was like I sent it to you <laughs> I, was I like, know holy shit they hard launched like oh my god they hard launched and Rim's like wait who oh my god who because she thought we were talking about someone else like who Oh no, we're not going there. Who? No, we're not going there. <laughs> who are we talking about? What? Did I? Who did I think? No, 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 no. It's fine. Okay, I forget. <laughs> then I'm like, and then oh. I send, I send, <laughs> I, I, I send the TikTok of them hard launching. And what's funny is from my POV, I saw his video being like, "It's true, I'm off the market." Blah 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 blah, and tagged her. Right? I didn't. I was like, "Oh my god, wait, this makes so much more sense." Respectful King left me on fucking because then I went back to our DMs and it said seen on Tuesday. I was like, oh fuck. Literally him the next <laughs> literally him the next day hard lunching after he saw me. Like like on you know on the chat. I am so happy for them. No, I love it. But then I go to her profile and it says follow back and I go, oh my God. And then I look and I'm like, oh my God, it's Bryn. And then I cause I didn't recognize her at first because when we met her she had the two toned hair. Oh yeah. Because it was like once I was blonde, once I was brunette and it was long and then now it's short and I literally go, oh my God God, honestly, hot couple. I love it. I support I it. Lo- I've been a Bryn fan account since before the benefit trip. Um, the bat thing, dun, 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 with the bat. Yeah. Hey. Uh. And then um, Color Me Mondays. Like, I love her. Well, She's so sweet. I remember you being nervous. When you found out she was, she was on going, the trip and going on the trip, you were like, I'm so nervous. I'm going to meet one of my favorite TikTokers. I hope she's nice. And I was like, oh, I hope she's nice too. Because that's, yeah. that's the worst thing when you meet people. You're like, fuck. I like almost don't want to meet you yeah. because I don't want to fuck it up. And I don't want to like not I've like had you. three instances like that. Mm-hmm. Amanda Diaz. Oh my God. We're really just naming names today. Um, Bryn uh-huh. and Kensington. Yes. All 
so nice. Where you're like, oh, if you're a mean girl, I'm going to be really sad. Exceeded my expectations. Everyone's been so kind, so nice. Oh my God, And I totally. love them all. And I'm so happy for Brandon and for Mario. Oh no, I, I <laughs> truly sorry, sorry love Sorry for doing that. So I'm much. sorry, Brandon. I'm sorry, Mario. <laughs> no, that was fully me. No, you that know, was me. You, oh my God. Imagine, <laughs> imagine they got into a fight where he's like, there's too many girls sliding in. We just, ha- we have to hard launch. And then she's like, oh, why are girls in your DMs? And then he's like, oh, we just, we better hard launch soon. That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take full blame. That was Oh no, totally I love neat. it. There's nothing more fun than taking your friend's photo and sliding into sliding someone. Sliding in. Little did I, I just like cannot believe the coincidence. No, the time. It we was the timing. know her. It was the timing. And I truly, again, apologize from the bottom of and my heart. And she's a Marie. <laughs> she is a Marie. I love Marie. Brynn Marie. Let's fucking go, Marie. And I'm so happy for her too, because did you see the whole saga that she publicly had where she, her girlfriend had cheated on her? No. Oh, fuck that bitch. Fuck her. And so now I'm happy she's in a healthy, beautiful relationship. Wait, I love it so much. Who's obsessed with her. I love it so much. (laughs) So much. (laughs) (laughs) I can't believe I did that. I'm sorry. No, I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. I hope Uh, she's not mad at me. No, she still wants to be friends. Unfortunately, we know someone sent this to her or DM'd it and then (laughs) she's laughing. I hope so. She also got a mad shout out. Everyone go follow her. Love you, Bryn. She doesn't need it. She's so famous. I know. It's okay. She's like, these haters are talking about me. (laughs) what podcast oh yeah i don't know that one (laughs) on that small little tiny (laughs) podcast i have something to say yeah i think i'm a superhuman i have fought off all diseases all things in my household and walked out unscathed what do you mean cow got so 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 sick and he still is sick right now. He's literally at the doctor right now. So sick. Post Vegas? Uh, yeah, post Vegas. And just like, he gets sick, sem- not semi-often, but like a normal amount. Mm-hmm. I will live in the same household and be in the same bed, breathing the same air and not get sick. Also, Ollie got sick after Mammoth. Ollie got sick. I got, got sick, sick after Vegas. Cal got sick. I thought I was going to get sick. I had a little tickle in the throat on Friday, which I had to cancel our dinner with the 20-whatever girls. Uh, Apologies so to sorry, my girls. queens. We were going to see all the girlies right before Sierra gives birth. Oh, my God. And then I woke up with a scratchy throat, and I was like, okay, I am just going to cancel my whole weekend and hopefully not get sick. Because I was like, if I, I'm at that precipice where if I go all out this weekend, I'm going to get sick. If also, I don't, I won't. She's like so pregnant. The last thing you want to do is get her sick. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, main thing, of course. Um, also, Lauren with her bachelorette, I was like, I don't want to get anybody yeah. sick right now before these big events. And so I stayed home the whole weekend. Didn't get sicker. I'm totally fine now. But I, I've had COVID, like Cal's had COVID and I didn't get COVID in the I house. I know, you're crazy. I still haven't gotten COVID to this day, everybody. I need That's everyone crazy. to know. I feel like there's very few people that can say that. I haven't gotten it. I've only had it gone. once. Would. But I think I'm a superhuman. And then I was like trying to rack my brain today. I'm like, why am I a superhuman? Mm-hmm. There's nothing special about me. Why am I a superhuman? I think it was the dog vaccine. <laughs> no. Which I'm sure I told this story like four years ago when I got Momo, but I feel like there's probably new listeners who don't know the story. There's new listeners. And again, because we never want to hurt anyone's feelings. I, I, gar- I would bet my life on it that you like tiptoed around what happened what you were like you're like oh I don't want to like get her in trouble (laughs) like I feel like that was your vibe then you're so right and now it's like so far removed it's like hard to find who it was well actually I would give that lady a kiss on the lips because I am now (laughs) what is the word you're spider-man I am invincible I'm untouchable (laughs) also I know I'm just gonna say this and jinx Jinx myself tomorrow you're sick I'm totally kidding about I do get sick a normal amount but I do I do often ponder about the fact that so let me rewind guys. It's um 2020. I think it was like September of 2020. And I really wanted to get Daisy a sister. I really wanted to get another puppy. And when Remy sets her mind to something, she sets her mind to something. She- and I've been wanting one for a long time, but Cal was like, no, 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 no. And then look at him now. He's such a like Asian dad who says no to the dog and then becomes obsessed with them. Um, or just any dad in general with the family dog. Um, so I'd been looking for a few months for a dog and I wanted to adopt a dog, but I ran into a lot of roadblocks because a lot of places won't let you adopt if you had allergies or they couldn't help you figure out like what exactly like the breed was because obviously they're just trying to move these dogs and get them into homes. And so- Yeah, like they're scared of the chance that you would rehome after that. Exactly. They're very, it's like a 
There's some of those applications. I it was, swear. I thought out so many. It I almost was many. like you were adopting a kid. Yeah. Like very intense. As it should be. But also <laughs> like, I also understood to some degree, but yeah, I would like, there were, uh, I was working with this organization that would uh, rescue the dogs from like the China and Korean dog festivals. And so they're just trying to get the dogs out as fast as they can. Um, so with that, they couldn't like DNA test. They couldn't tell me. And they're like, well, if you have allergies, I'm sorry. It's a hard no, because what if you get the dog and then you have a reaction and then you turn around the next day and want to rehome, like we want to rehome yeah. the dog as little as possible. Totally understood. And so I went on pet finder and I found this little, small, tiny one pound puppy who had two sisters who were found on the streets with their mom with one eye. Oh, literally, it's so cute. <laughs> And it said in the description, like, where the rescue was keeping the mom, but we're trying to rehome the puppies. Um, her name was Moana. It was Leilani Moana and... I didn't know there was three. Kona. There Kona. were three. And so I was like, I'll take any of them. Like, I, I'll take any dog. I just, I really want to rescue a dog. I just want another dog. And so uh, the one stipulation with this rescue was that they had to administer the shots for the puppy until they reached like six months or after their first three sets of shots. And I was like, cool, absolutely, of course. I mean, either way, I'm gonna vaccinate my dog, either way, I'm gonna get her spayed, totally. But like, if you wanna make sure, totally. So I ended up getting Momo, sweet Moana Lou. And we go, we went to um, the Petco parking lot in, I think it was in Monrovia. Oh my God, yeah. Something something with an M, Monterey Park, some area. So the lady tells me they normally do like a little pop-up or like a little, table situation in the Petco, but because it was COVID, we had to meet in the parking lot. So she's like, meet me in the parking lot of the Monterey Park Petco. I said, sweet. Met her there. They take out the, like literally smaller than my hand, little tiny little hamster puppies. And I knew which one was Momo because I studied her photo and I went for <laughs> Momo and I take Momo. And um, the, another family was there and they took the other one. The other sister had already gone. And the lady's like, okay, cool. Meet us like in a month or like three weeks or whatever. I'm going to administer the first set of shots. I was mm -hmm. like, sweet, for sure. So I go back for the first set of shots and oh my God, the lady has asked me to meet her at the Trader Joe's parking lot. I believe it was in Glendale. So she's like, meet me at this Trader Joe's parking lot. I was like, oh, okay. You're like, this feels sketch. <laughs> this is so strange, but like, I understand, okay. So I go and Momo, I go with my mom. Momo's screaming, screaming, screaming. She's trying to give her these shots in the parking lot. Like people must be wondering what is going on. Yeah. So she's giving her the shots. Boom, done. First round done. She's like, I'll see you in a month. Meet me at another Trader Joe's parking lot in a month. I was like, okay, sounds great. A month later, I go with Ollie. And Ollie and I are in the back, or and Ollie and I pull up to this Trader Joe's parking lot, and I'm so scared, bracing myself for the screaming puppy that's about to ensue. And the lady comes and meets us. She's so nice, and she's like uh, trying to give her the shots, but Momo's wriggling and just like screaming and being so loud. And she's like, "Oh, you know, I'm just gonna sit in your car and do it." And I was like, "Okay," but the back of my car was filled to the brim with like so much junk and like bags and clothes and all these things so she's like moving I'm literally like trying to shove this stuff to the side so she can sit in the back of my car she sits in the back of my car and Momo's wriggling like crazy so I'm trying to hold Momo still for the lady I'm like Momo Momo stay Momo stay Momo stay she gives her the shot misses hits my finger <laughs> hits my finger with said dog vaccine said we'll get to that said dog vaccine I'm like did okay question <laughs> Did you react? Did you make a noise? Because I'm the type of person, if I'm like getting my hair done and they accidentally fling hair dye on my face, I'll pretend I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. So did you just like smile? She was like, oh my God, I'm so, I was like, no, no, no. Oh, so she noticed. Okay, she noticed, okay. yeah. She, I was, I, I don't think I said ow. I think I was, I, it was, it was a tiny little baby needle. And um, she's just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, 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 it's so fine. It's so fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry. And she would let me keep the vials of the vaccine after That's so that weird, I could no? write it down to like oh. keep track for when I take or, her to the okay. vet and so I was like oh my god don't even worry about it and so she gives her the vaccine and then we move on and Ollie's like sitting in the passenger seat and we like pull out of this tra Trader Joe's parking lot like did He's that holding happen? Momo and Ollie's like what the fuck and I'm like I don't know I start breaking out in hives yeah, your arm I, I called my mom because I'm I have a lot of allergies and I was like I think also just like the stress of what happened I don't know what also, happened hello during that time in COVID like unknown vaccine not even COVID just unknown vaccine like, in my but system any sickness then was even more heightened of like oh, any rash and you know what and I mean? so I call my mom who was a nurse and I'm like oh my god what do I do and she's like oh my god she's like go home and take a Benadryl and like keep me posted please like there's nothing else we can do right now yeah. like this happened to Jin in the army did I tell you that Jin yeah. is from BTS he was he because they're all doing their their uh -huh. military right now uh someone got in and gave him a vaccine like a 
a fan or a stalker or someone what? like went in and gave him a vaccine yeah he's okay but like i mean obviously they, like, that didn't happen to me at that level but it was crazy like it was like news because like some someone slipped in pretended to be that he needed oh mm-hmm. he's okay but like it's so scary so i was oh like oh my god what is god. this vaccine and so we're driving home i look at the vial it literally says canine coronavirus I'm vaccine. Dead. <laughs> I'm dead. And but this was before I got vaccinated, right? I think that was before. I think you so. Could even get vaccinated? No, I think that's before like the vaccines came out. So I hadn't been vaccinated yet. I was the first. But what's not a coincidence? I don't think is the fact that you've never had COVID. <laughs> And I'm a superhuman now. That was my Spider-Man. That was my Tobey Maguire origin no, story. No, literally, it's like Spider-Man. And then yeah. you have your powers. And now it's like a joke within the household where if I'm Cal will okay. get sick. No, I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Me too. I it Also, she didn't like push it. Like Also, this is all just to be silly, but I really haven't gotten very sick. And she, it just like was a prick. It wasn't like a, like uh, she squirted it. But like, mm. Uh, I love that the dogs had the vaccine before us. My favorite is more. I randomly get a text. Oh my God, Alicia with our chat with Ollie and you, when you get that you really never know what it's gonna be it could be like <laughs> the sky is falling it could be like a new song came out or it could be like <laughs> oh my god like it could be anything oh my god Brynn and Mario are dating <laughs> yeah yeah or it can be oh my god the girl who was supposed to put in a vaccine to my new puppy accidentally stabbed my hand like you really never know what it could be gotta keep them on their toes wow if you've made it to the end of this video you should comment below someone that alicia that i should dm for alicia oh my god wait loki yeah i think tyler cameron (laughs) you guys let me know who i should (laughs) comment them below (laughs) like this video and subscribe to pretty basic we will be back next week we love you guys so much thanks for watching Bye. bye